Hey guys, <laughs> it's evening uh, by the food forest. Please bear with me, I'm not a technical person. So um, I just thought I'd invite you to, uh, to stroll through the food forest as it looks right now. It's really beautiful, so many things are flowering and um, we are expecting a, a bit of rain and also some strong winds, so in a couple of days. Uh, a lot of it will be gone or uh, trashed, so I thought I'd just uh, go for a walk with you in the food forest. So yeah, let's do it. The entrance is looking very rosy. I like this bending, bowing. Um, today it really struck me how Amazing it is that in less than seven years you can go from a bare field to this if you work with nature, if you value diversity and I think if you love your plants that's also very much a part of it. The black lace Elder. This bit is the newest bit in the food forest. The ground layers are only maybe two years old. And I still have a few annuals here, but less and less in the food forest because actually it's much easier to have them in the vegetable garden and then have perennial vegetables in the food forest. It makes more sense. We have a um, small pond and you can see almost no water left. This winter it was full to the brim and overflowing, so um, it just shows you how, how variable the, the level of precipitation we are getting is. Uh, in winter it's a lot and in summer and spring it's hardly any. Um, some very intense and lovely roses. They look like something from the 50s, I think. I like that. Uh, and intentionally, I did uh, choose a lot of orange flowers because I think it's a, it's a powerful color to have in the garden and not one that you see a lot. And it's also, it's also the color of the sacral chakra the dancing chakra, the joyful chakra, the sensual, sensuous chakra. So I'm enjoying this color and it's not one I have a lot in uh, the other parts of the garden. So here I'm just going all in. <laughs> uh, but I, I think all these combinations are lovely. Combinations of color and shape and uh, maybe you can hear it's raining a little bit. Hopefully we'll get a lot. Um, I like the pathways right now. They are lined with flowers and uh, usually lots of bees buzzing, but right now maybe they're taking a nap in a flower somewhere, sheltered from the rain. This is the other entrance, the other end of the garden. And lots of roses growing in the trees. I stick a rose in every spot because I can only grow them inside this fenced off garden. Otherwise the deer will eat them up. So right here in the middle is a beautiful, beautiful acacia tree, a nitrogen fixer and just some amazing combinations of color and 
shape. I love this. Earlier on today, I was spending some time harvesting all these woodland berries. It's like a childhood thing. I think they're they're a bit they they have they smell like chewing gum, but they're quite lovely to snack on. So. I'm gonna take another one. Wild colors. And some of these more denser portals I think are also really beautiful. I see that maybe you can also sense it that I need to reclaim some of the pathways because things are growing so fast that actually in some areas I can't really pass. So picking berries feels like foraging in a wild, wild ancient forest. <laughs> Maybe, maybe that's a bit much, so, yeah. I also really like turning this corner. I think this, this looks amazing. This is uh, the cardoon and the roses and the cherries and the almonds and nitrogen fixers and the sea berry behind. Pretty amazing. And lovely, lovely roses. I, we have built a small hill. We, I mean, not built, but we just put a mound of earth in, uh, in one of the far corners that you can get up onto. Yeah, just the uh, PBs. Not doing much today. And more lovely flowers. Lots of weeds. Lots of edibles. Lots of berries. And now we are just climbing the small hill. It's the only grass I have inside and I might change that. But I enjoy this change in height because you can you can sort of sense this this is my queendom of course but you can sense the whole garden from here. So I'm just gonna pan Slowly, maybe you can feel the size and vibration, perhaps. Pretty amazing that all this can grow in less than seven years from scratch. I think that's amazing. Yeah, so that's the evening stroll. Thanks for joining me.